Welcome everyone, Farmer Cop here. This is going to be part 10 of my Seasons tutorial series. If this is what you're looking for, please stay tuned. All right, folks, welcome to part 10 of my Seasons tutorial series. This is going to be on cows. So I'm going to teach you everything you need to know about the differences between cows in base game and Seasons. So we're going to talk about just how to care for them in Seasons. So what I would recommend doing, I do have a video on how to raise cows in base game. I recommend watching that first uh, before you watch this so you can get kind of some of the basic information that we're not going to cover in this video. We're just going to cover some of the changes uh, as Seasons kind of overhauls all that sort of stuff. But uh, yeah, without further ado, let's just go ahead and jump into it. So. First things first, just as always, you're gonna need to place some animal pens. Um, in here, I just have cow pastures. There's, I have five placed right now because there's five types of cows and seasons, which we'll look at in a second. Um, yeah, so, so there we go. Now we're gonna come up here, take a look at this menu. So there's different cow types. Now the Brahmin are all the same. They're just different colors. So it depends on what you want there. And then we have Holstein, Sailors, Eyeshires, and Limousines. Now, if you move them into your pen, like if I hit move there, um, if I'm not using a livestock trailer, it's gonna charge me $200 to transport them plus the cost of the animal, um, which is fine if you wanna do it that way. But if you wanna actually save the money on it, you can buy a trailer. This will hold uh, no cows, no cows. No, it should hold cows. Yeah, six cows. Um, there we go. 14 cows and 12 cows there. So if you wanted to actually use one of these, you don't have to pay that fee, but just to note that now let's talk briefly about the different types of cows. So limousines are bought as male cows at 0.6 years, 617 pounds. Um, the price will vary throughout the year, just like all of these will, um, depending on the price per pound and everything like that. Um, these ones are fairly expensive. Um, they grow very fast. They're fairly feed efficient. So your return for what feed you give them is fairly good. Um, and again, they're beef cows. So they're designed to be bought, uh, fattened up and then sold for a profit after they weigh more. Uh, sailors are also a, a beef cow here. They're bought as males at 0.8 years, 606 pounds. Um, they are cheaper. There's a good return on them. Um, they're not as expensive to get going, but they're, they're a decent return on them. So uh, there you have that. And then also the Brahmins down here are all beef, all bought at 0.8 years, 573 pounds males of course since they're beef cows uh they're kind of a medium feed needs kind of need middle of the road kind of stuff um they have decent growth and their price is not too bad either um they're not the most expensive they're not the cheapest either so just kind of be aware of that now as far as milk cows so we have the holstein up here and we also have um the ashire so we're going to talk about the ashire first the ashire is female bought as females um they produce milk they require very little amount of feed they are cheaper to buy but they have very low milk production or lower milk production compared to the uh holstein which is bought at 1.9 years 1080 pounds which this one's 1.9904 i don't think i mentioned that um, bought as a female once again made for milk production produces a ton of milk uh, they are expensive to buy and they require a lot of feed now both the females in here as far as reproduction goes they're art artificially inseminated um, I believe every year, if I remember correctly, they produce milk only after giving birth. So it takes a while to get them going. Um, a gestation period. So the time that they're pregnant with a, a baby cow is nine periods of time, which in seasons, if I hit alt S to open the menu, each one of these is a period of time. So if they got pregnant uh, right here, then it would take them until one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, till the end of winter to give birth. And then they'll start producing milk after that. They do have a dry spell after they produce milk uh, for a little bit. Um, so just understand that they're not always producing milk all year round like base game. Um, and we'll do some testing on that and stuff later, but there you go. Uh, so yeah, that is everything about the cows. As far as what they need, um, they need water. They need uh, potentially need straw. Straw is kind of optional. They need to be cleaned and they need to be fed. Um, so right here, we have the food trough purchase point here. We have the water trough here, straw point here. And then uh, to clean them, you're just going to clean out in front of the food trough over here as it gets dirty. So, um, We'll talk about, let me see what I want to talk about first. Talk about water first. So uh, water goes in there. Again, the trough. So water trough, food troughs and seasons, they're only going to hold enough to last for two days um, worth of food or water or whatever it is. Um, if we go into the store here, we can actually purchase a water pump at the very end. This is on all, all platforms. This comes with seasons, 5,000 to buy. Um, I have it placed on all of the other ones over here, so I don't have to produce water. Now it doesn't fill the trough completely up. It'll keep it at 15% and it does bill you for the water it uses, but it makes sure that your animals don't run out of water, uh, which is kind of nice. Otherwise, if this is a water point, just hop in here using a water trailer and I can hit I to unload and put water into there. And if I go into the menu here, um, this is the one we're putting in water in right now. So these ones I have all set to go fed and they have the water pumps. So you can see it's keeping at 15%. Now it's various levels for various cows because they all require different uh, different things as we go through. 
Now, as far as straw goes, so straw up here, um, straw, if you give your animal straw, it will help their health. It'll help their health go up a little bit. It'll improve that a little bit. But if you don't give them, or if you do give them straw, you'll get manure. If you don't give them straw, you'll get slurry. You get one or the other, just like pigs. If you give them straw, you'll get manure. If you don't give them straw, you'll get slurry. So it just kind of depends on what you want to do with that. Uh, they won't die if they don't have straw. Um, they, they won't, they'll be fine if they don't have straw. They just won't be quite as healthy. So just be aware of that. Um, let me look down here at my list, make sure I'm not missing anything. So let's go back into that seasons menu, talk about a couple things. So cleanliness levels here, water's here, straw level. Then we have food, which we'll talk about in a second. Then down at the bottom, um, for all of them, you're going to see the manure, slurry, and milk. So this one right here, these guys are only producing slurry at different rates as well, uh, but they're only producing slurry as they only have, or they don't have any straw. So they're just going to produce slurry. These guys we're going to give um, or we're gonna give straw to, so they produce manure as well. Now at the very bottom, it's gonna tell you a food requirement. So that is how much food they require if the animals don't grow, don't change in health, um, don't gain any weight and don't produce any more animals. Now, again, the males aren't going to reproduce at all. What you buy is what you get, but they will require more food as they get bigger and weigh more. Uh, so as their, their weight changes, they'll require more food. Um, so just be aware of that. Health increases over time as needs are met, and it decreases much faster if their needs are not met. So if they're not being fed or anything like that, their health can decrease rapidly. Also note that if you leave them in like a livestock trailer for too long or without food for too long, their health will decrease down to a point where they'll die. They usually die between zero and 20%. So just be aware of that. You need to take good care of your animals um, in, in season. So that's pretty important. So the beef cows, obviously the males are never gonna have any milk in here. And we're probably not even gonna see any in this tutorial of either of the, the females, um, the Ashires or the Holsteins producing any milk because they're probably not going to have any uh, any children for a little while here. So um, if we go back up here now, let's look at any of the animals. Actually, we'll look at one of the uh, Holsteins. So Brahmin, you're not going to see next animal in because it's a male. Um, under here on the Holstein, you'll see next animal in. Right now, they're not fertile. Then at some point, it'll show you a time in years that it'll uh, be. Then also as the animal's age, their health, and how much the animal weighs in here as well. So just be aware of all those things. The weight should be slowly going up um, as they uh, get older and more mature. Now, once they start to get too old, you're probably going to want to sell them off and their production will start to decrease as well. Now, as far as feed goes, there are essentially four kind of feed categories the way I look at it. There's three in here listed. So there's total mixed ration, hay and silage, then grass. You don't have to feed all three. They're only going to eat out of one at a time. This is the best second best and this is the worst now it'll still be fine they're not going to die just eating grass but they're not going to do as well their health will decrease a little bit and some other things like that and they're not going to be as productive as far as milk production or gaining weight so tmr is usually the best they will not touch these two categories until tmr is completely empty and then they will go to the next category and then once that's empty then they'll go to the next one um, now also note too in seasons if there's grass in the field they're in which there will be once it actually grows up um, then this grass will fill up and they can graze but just under note that grass is only 60 percent effective so grazing is kind of the fourth category i look at um, so just be aware of that um, it's just something to note and let me see yeah. so yeah and also i already mentioned two two days at a time food being our two days at a time we talked about the yearly food requirement again if nothing changes that's what it'll be so that'll constantly be going up and it's quite a bit usually again depends on age weight all that good stuff so just be aware of all those things um let me see here i'm trying to make sure i don't miss anything before we do a bit of a practical so again feeding them if i come over here i'm just going to give these guys um i could just give them tmr you know what we'll give them just um, if I can find it in here, we'll just give them grass just so I can kind of, or yeah, this is grass, just so I can kind of demonstrate that there is a difference as far as what they need and everything like that. Now, once this is full, it's only going to allow me to put enough feed in there for two days. Now you can kind of get away with this a little bit because on seasons, if I go in here, uh, these guys that I just gave grass, you can fill these other two categories up. So if I put, um, for example, I put uh, hay in here, it will let me put hay in here. I'm not going to just for the, well, actually I'll put just a touch. Okay, perfect. So if we go in here, this is at 600. So as we fast forward time, we're gonna see this empty and then this get touched, but nothing nothing else is gonna get touched on, if I go to one of these other ones, actually, let's do that as well. Let's drive over to one of the other pens. We'll put some hay in there just so I can show you they're not gonna touch the hay at all. They're just gonna eat the TMR. They're not even gonna bother with the hay. So we'll put some in here. We'll get it all the way full just to help show it off a little bit better. So then which one did I put that in? 
right down here. So this one's got hay and it's got TMR. And again, you can put silage in place of hay. It's just whatever you want to put in there. Uh, so again, they're going to touch the TMR. They're not going to touch that. So we'll take a look at all those different things I talked about now. Um, let me go into the menu here and actually get it so it's going to fast forward a little bit quicker. Now, I don't recommend fast forwarding in seasons. Um, you have to stop every so often to make sure it can actually catch up and do stuff like that. But uh, yeah, and if you guys have any questions like this, if this doesn't answer some of your questions or anything like that, drop a comment down below. Uh, there's a lot of really knowledgeable people in the farmer cop community that know a lot about seasons. Uh, so there's the synchronizing. It's going to synchronize real quick. Uh, that can answer your questions. So just be aware of that. If you have questions, just feel free to drop them down below. All right, and we are back down to the morning. So let's go into the seasons menu and take a look. So um, these guys right here, no straw. Again, they're only producing slurry. These guys are males, so we don't need to worry too much. Their health is going up a little bit, 82% now. They're all at 80 yesterday. Um, water's still fine. Cleanliness is down a little bit. They're just eating TMR. They only had TMR. These guys very similar, except these guys are now waiting on the next animal in it no longer says not fertile because they're mature now so now they can produce animals um, and their weight looks like it's gone up and their health a little bit as well and they're just eating some of their food now these guys here um yep nothing changed except for their health and weight went up a little bit um, and they produce some slurry and again slurry here slurry here if we go down here just slurry here now notice they just ate the tmr didn't even touch the hay the hay's just sitting there um, and their health went up now next animal in now we have 0.7 years so these guys are starting to reproduce um, 917 pounds so everything's starting to go up in the right direction um, there and then if we go down to our final category here I uh, notice their health decreased quite a bit um, their water's down a little bit their straw they didn't have straw in here either I totally forgot to put straw in uh, so always they would have produced manure but you can see they all produce just slurry since they're not producing any manure uh, as far as putting straw in since I forgot that just like base game you just can put straw in here using a trailer full straw or using a bale shredder to put it in but you can put it in there and now if I put that straw in there, and I just fast forward a touch more time. Now if I go into the seasons menu, these guys that have straw now, now you can see they started producing manure and that slurry amount's the same. They stopped producing slurry and they now are working on manure. But anyhow, that is basically everything I think I covered. I probably talked too fast, so you might have to watch that twice, but I apologize. A lot of stuff to cover and I don't want the video to be four hours long. But there you go. And again, feel free to drop your questions down below. I'm happy to help out with that. I know we get a lot of people that are. So if you guys enjoyed this uh, video, drop a like down below. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button up on the screen to join the Farmer Cop channel and turn on your notification bell so you don't miss any future videos I may post. This has been Farmer Cop. Thank you guys for coming and watching.